I'm proud to introduce to you today, the president of the Las Vegas Raiders, Sandra Douglas Morgan. But I want to be clear, I am not here to sweep anything under the rug or avoid problems or concerns that need to be addressed. The Las Vegas Raiders have hired Sandra Douglas Morgan as the team president. She will be the first black female president in NFL history. So this is an interesting day. Mark Davis introduced her just this afternoon as team president. And Nicole Adams, the former HR manager who has accused Mark Davis of discrimination. She had a piece in the New York Times that covered some of her wild and wacky allegations. She had some things to say about this hire, which are quite interesting and might make a lot of Raiders fans and Mark Davis himself and Morgan included pretty upset. Now, Sandra Douglas Morgan served as the Nevada Gaming Control Board Chair from 2019 to 2021. She talked about her familiarity with football and her experience in the business sector. I have served on the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and most recently I was chairwoman of the Nevada Gaming Control Board. But I've also always felt a passion for community and protecting our community, which I did day in and day out while serving with the state's COVID-19 task force. Now, we know the Raiders always do a lot of firsts. They always have a ton of firsts. You got, obviously, Art Shell, the first black head coach in the modern NFL era. Amy Trask, the first female CEO in NFL history. And Tom Flores was the first Hispanic head coach to win a Super Bowl. So the Raiders have a lot of firsts. And so it's no surprise that the Raiders would be a first in having the first female black president in league history. But Nicole Adams, you know, the former HR manager, had some things to say about this and kind of went off. She, she says, I think it's a wonderful step that Mark Davis is taking, but hiring the first black female president doesn't necessarily mean that things will change. She goes on to say, I just hope the team president is someone who is truly going to improve the culture and not just a figurehead put in place to take some heat off the team. So not just a figurehead put in place to take some heat off the team. It seems like she thinks that is what Morgan is. Morgan did address the organizational concerns that have been in the news. But I also had a lot of questions. It's no secret that this organization has faced some recent challenges. But I want to be clear. I am not here to sweep anything under the rug or avoid problems or concerns that need to be addressed. The fact is I accepted this role because I believe in the promise of the Raiders. I believe in the future of the Raiders. And I believe in this organization's tenets of integrity, community, and most of all, commitment to excellence. But really, she didn't have much to say about it. Obviously, you're not going to go wild about this in an introductory press conference. And also, the beat reporters really didn't ask them much. There was even an awkward moment where Mark Davis and Morgan were like, yo, are we going to get any more questions? More questions, guys? This is going to be easier than that <laughs> Honestly, I think the beat reporters were scared. You don't want to rub the president the wrong way and then get pushed out of the building, right? And some fans have even accused this hire as being just a diversity hire and maybe she's not qualified for the job. She does have some experience with the Nevada Gaming Control Board, also served on the Super Bowl board in Las Vegas. That's going to happen in 2024. Now, the president is not supposed to know the X's and O's of football. The president is not supposed to tell you whether or not the Raiders need to implement more RPOs in their scheme or whatnot. No, that's not what the president does. They focus on the business side of it. She did say her husband is a former NFL player. So honestly, how much closer can you get to the game than that in a lot of ways? Football has long been in my family. Uh, my husband is an NFL veteran. He was a strong safety for two teams I won't mention because we're all a part of Raider Nation today. And I have a long history in the sports, entertainment, and gaming industries. And really, we don't know how qualified she is. Mark Davis is the one who interviewed this candidate. Only people in this industry really know how qualified she is for this type of a job. And I will say, even if, even if, let, let's just say Nicole Adams is right and this is just a move to take some heat off of Mark Davis, say the commenters are right and this is also the case, okay, well then it's a brilliant chess move by Mark Davis. We know this all started with the Colin Kaepernick workout. Obviously, the Raiders were never interested in signing Colin Kaepernick. They traded for Jared Stidham, gave Nick Mullins a decent amount of money for a backup, and obviously Derek Carr's the starting quarterback. So the Raiders really did not need a quarterback when they worked out Colin Kaepernick, but hey, it took some heat off the Raiders. You got these allegations of discrimination. You got the NFL coming after you. You got leaked emails and memos showing that the NFL thought about removing Mark Davis's owner. So when you have the Kaepernick workout, you're going to be like, bro, how are you going to say that I discriminate? I'm working out the guy who's blackballed from the NFL. And even if, and I don't think Davis is just doing a little diversity hire. I don't think he's doing that. But even if he is doing that, this is step two of a brilliant chess move. What the hell is Roger Goodell and the NFL going to say now? You're going to say this guy discriminates? Say he discriminates? Oh, what is Nicole Adams going to say? Oh, he discriminates 
discriminates in the workplace, well, he has a black woman president, so how, how can you really fault him then? We did cover some of the allegations that Nicole Adams and the New York Times made against Mark Davis. And after we looked at these allegations, they really didn't add up to anything unusual for a large corporation, and the New York Times even went as far as to call Mark Davis Stone Age, trying to imply that he's backwards culturally, just because the dude uses paper receipts. It was really bogus and honestly, super petty. So the question going forward, will this take some heat off the Raiders? Will the NFL leave the Raiders alone now that they can't make these ism allegations against them? I do still think they have the LGBTQ card that they can throw at the Raiders, but hey, the Raiders employed the first openly gay player last year, so we'll see what happens. Either way, something is going on. New York Times articles don't just pop up out of nowhere, and like I've said before, why is the attention on the Raiders? Why aren't we investigating all these other teams who've had cheerleaders, have wage claims against them, have had former employees have wage claims against them. It's only the Raiders that are in focus right now, and hopefully Morgan is able to help take some heat off the Raiders so we can get back to building what she believes to be a great team, a great team and a great company that is going to make billions of dollars for years to come. Either way, my name is Wi-Fi Willie. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Raiders Rundown for more Raiders content and ring the bell to get notifications so you know when we're going live because we go live at random freaking times. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.